2E0 PGS here, uh, another review. This is another gin review. Today we have probably one of the most well known gins in England anyway. Uh, you find this in all pubs and bars. Bombay Sapphire. Um, so this is distilled in London, I believe. It's a London dry gin. Um, it says something about vapour infused, I don't know what that means. Hand selected exotic botanicals from a 1761 recipe product of England so it's 40% uh, and this is a 100 centiliter bottle uh, let's bring up the specs page here to jog my memory I'm sure this is made close to the um, Thames I'm not sure I'm pretty sure it's made close to the Thames Valley River not 100% sure. But I picked this whole bottle here of basically one litre of gin, which is like I say 40% for 20 quid in Tesco when it was discounted. Normally it's quite cheap anyway in most places, 20 to 25 quid. So the initial smell, it's got a more musty smell compared to other gins. The previous review I did was the Botanist 22, but you can instantly smell this gin's sort of musty. Sort of a a more musty, a more hard to explain. There's like a powdered hmm. lemon and it might be that licorice I could smell because it certainly has a slight licorice taste. So let's pour a glass of this. It's like a more woody, a woody sort of smell with this lemon. So on the side here it says there's Grains of paradise, uh, cubit berries, cassia bark, almonds, licorice, uh, juniper berries, lemon peel, coriander, uh, angelica, and orris. So there's a fair amount of botanicals in there. It's a nice bottle design. Probably would make a nice lamp of some sort. It stands out on the shelf. But, uh, Let's give this a review. Most people have this in a gin and tonic. Hmm. Um, I mean, coming from the Boston is 22. It's day and night. But this one here has um. I'm not getting it so much now, but I do remember certainly before a very peppery taste. Um, I can taste a sort of licorice, slightly musty flavour. Not really getting much citrus from it. it just seems a little bit dull compared to um, some of the more expensive craft gins, but that's what you would expect really. Um, but the peppery taste, um, I do remember drinking um, some of this a while back, and as you can see the bottle is beyond halfway, and certainly the peppery taste was more pronounced, but since that's probably sat in the bottle for a while it might have disappeared a bit. goes down quite smooth, basically no burn on it. Very small amount of burn there. Um, licorice slightly musty and peppery basically. Not really any citrus taste but there is a slight citrus smell. So you're basically getting what you you're getting what you want for the money there. It is a good gin for the price point at twenty odd quid for seventy cents litres or a litre. It's a very good flavour for what you're getting. But I would rather spend another five quid to get a, a better gin that's on sale. Or even like Whitney Neal is only another five quid and it, that, it's always at that price. And you're getting a day and night difference between the amount of flavours. Um, so Bombay Sapphire is one of those 
tunes. It's sort of like a good, a good tune to find in most bars. Um, if you want like a gin and tonic, it is good for drinking straight as well. If you want something cheap to drink straight, if you just want that gin taste with a nice sort of peppery. It's got it. It goes well with like a roast dinner. You put a ton of pepper on it, and then if you have a Bombay Sapphire straight afterwards, um, as in drinking it neat. I mean. Uh, that peppery taste sort of helps carry on that flavour um, but it's not one that I would simply go out and purchase when I could get something a bit better for another five quid on top of it um, that's better for drinking straight but it goes okay with tonic I mean if you're pouring like most people do they pour a ton of tonic on top of it that's going to add all the citrus notes really to it for you um, that is missing. It's missing some of the punchy, citrusy, more lighter notes because it's um, quite a musty and peppery, and sort of deeper notes. Gin. So, I mean, for for twenty quid, yeah, like I say, for twenty quid, it's a very good deal for a litre of gin. But I personally would recommend instead Whitney Neal at twenty five quid. But it's not a bad gin, it's a nice licorice It's got a nice licorice note to it, which is uh, interesting in a gin. So this has been 20 PGS. Thanks for watching my review.